Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. So I've had a little bit of a crazy week, two weeks. Um, I injured myself last week, so I was feeling a little under the weather. I'm still a little injured. I fell and hurt my shoulder, so I took last week off because I wasn't feeling well. And um, so yeah, I apologize that I did not bring you a weekly manis last week, but this week we're gonna be discussing two weeks of manicures. So since I wasn't feeling well last week, I didn't do a whole lot of nail art and I also just was in the mood for, you know, stuff that's really quick and simple. And so for me, that was using a lot of new polishes and I have, I have been getting in quite a few new polishes recently. So I decided to kind of dive in and start trying some of my new polishes just because I, you know, it w they were quick and easy and I didn't have to think about it and that's just the kind of week that I was having last week. Um, I have also not been able to do a lot of swatching just because the weather has been just kind of dismal and gray and it hasn't been the best, the best swatching uh, weather. So I've been itching to kind of try some of these new polishes because I, I usually like to swatch them before I wear them, but like I said, the weather just hasn't been cooperating, so I just wanted to go ahead and start wearing some new polishes just because I've been getting a whole bunch. So that is what we are going to be discussing today. I think also next week, I think next Sunday is the beginning of Daylight Savings, which is gonna be great, which means I will have more filming time because when I started my channel, I was filming in the evenings when I got home from work when I still had daylight out. So I think with Daylight Savings, I think that's really gonna help not make me feel so pressured to film videos on the weekends so that way you know I have a little bit more leeway as far as my filming schedule so pretty excited about that so let's go ahead and jump in because we have quite a few polishes to talk about so um, first up is going to be um, an older polish that I've had in my collection for a little while and this is called Shipwrecked and the brand I believe is called Illimite it's um, exclusively available on Live Love Polish I've never seen it anywhere else it's this really uh, like dusty dusty blue color with a pink flash I believe it's like a it's actually more purple than it is pink but it does have a flash in it I hadn't worn this in a while and I decided to go ahead and bust it out this is one of the first kind of flash uh, shimmer polishes that I um, picked up I want to say maybe around like early last spring um, is when I picked this up and it's really pretty the purple flash that's in here is not super apparent but it is there um i just when i first got it i was really excited about it just because i didn't really have anything like this in my collection now since i have so many of these polishes i was just kind of a little underwhelmed by this polish it just wasn't that exciting um and i also have been trying out a new and you'll see this because i did try on a couple of my manicures this week i am trying a new base coat and the base coat is not Either the base coat is not cooperate, it just isn't working well with the top coat that I am using with it, or just the pot or the base coat itself is just not great. Um, it's causing all of my polishes to kind of just like peel right off. So a lot of my manicures this week were nice, but I, uh, there's a hair on me. So a lot of my polishes this week just kind of like popped right off. So I am still trying to test out that base coat to see if I can make it work. I don't know if it's the if it's the base coat itself or if it's just like the mixture of the top coat because I did wear it a couple times and it didn't pop off as easily but a couple like with the first couple manicures I wore it with I noticed that just the nail polish like literally I would wear it to work and as soon as I would get to work it would start to chip on me so that is what happened with this so I didn't get to wear it for very long because for me as soon as my nail polish starts chipping I pop it off pretty quickly so Oh, there is a squirrel who is at the top of this tree. I don't know where he's going. Where are you going, squirrely? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. All right. There he goes. Okay. So yeah. Um, I'm not super excited about this polish anymore. So this may be in a D stash coming up. I just, uh, it just wasn't anything exciting. I've got way better polishes in my collection now. But when I first got this, I was really excited about it. And it is pretty. It's just, you know, it's not that exciting to me anymore. So again, that is shipped direct by Limite. And then next up is a polish I picked up, I wanna say like late summer and I just hadn't got a chance to wear it yet. And this is called Magic Turquoise by Cirque. And it's a jade green, it's a thermal, so it's a jade green when it is in its cold state and in its warm state, it is a um, 
kind of like tealy blue and it does have these little um, gold flecks in there so it does have that kind of like southwestern jewelry kind of feel to it um the transition on this is not super apparent the the blue to green you have to be definitely like looking at your nails really carefully to see the distinction um but it's still pretty it's a nice polish great formula um it's just not a really apparent just the colors are so close together that it's not a super apparent shift on the nails which is nice i i did enjoy it um but yeah it's just not it's not any it's not like any thermal i have um in my collection so i did enjoy it just keep in mind that it does it doesn't shift as well or the transition isn't as apparent on the nail if you like that sort of thing um so that is cert colors magic turquoise and then I got in my polish pickup order for February. And so I've only worn, I think I've only worn one so far from that, from that pickup. Um, and this is the first one I wore. This was probably the one that I was the most excited about. And this is called Cosmic Confection by Fair Maiden. And this is actually the first Fair Maiden polish that I have in my collection. And this is a very, very bright kind of, um, I don't even know how to really describe this color. It's kind of aqua. It's kind of a, it's like a turquoise, it's like a turquoise blue, but it's very bright. And it does have a lot of, um, holographic glitter in there it's definitely micro glitter there we go and then it does also have it's not very apparent but there is kind of this like purple like flash of shimmer that's in there also it's not super apparent when you have it on the nail you can definitely kind of see it a little bit i can kind of see it in the bottle it's definitely not like a flash like you normally see it's very it's very slight, but it is kind of there. So the purple flash that is in there does kind of like just brighten up the color. And so this was, I was the most excited about. I saw a swatch of this and I just thought it was so bright and so colorful. And it was definitely that on the nail. I just, uh, it was a little bright for me. I, it's not something I normally would go for. It's a little, it's a little like flashy on the nail for me, but I did really enjoy the color. I really wish the purple, um, flash that was in here showed up a little bit more but I think the color is really really pretty it's just not something it, it was a little out of my comfort zone I felt a little strange wearing it um to work just because it was like super bright but it's really really pretty I really enjoyed it so Fair Maiden Cosmic Confection and then I also got another order in uh, I've been ordering so much polish so obviously I've had a whole bunch of polish coming in um but if you saw a couple videos back I talked about um Cert Colors Coronation and how I was really unhappy with the formula and so I wanted to try and see if I could find a dupe of that color because I just I don't think I'm gonna make it I don't I'm I'm not very optimistic about seeing about whether or not I can make it work so I still have it in my collection I still want to kind of play with it but I did hear that this particular polish that I'm going to show you was kind of a dupe of it and so I went ahead and bought it just because I wanted to try it out and see if it would work and this is ILMP's Ava and Ava is definitely a little bit more red toned than Coronation. Coronation is a little bit more of a like royal purple color, but it does have that unicorn pea kind of uh, shimmer that's in there. So it definitely has the same kind of effect as Coronation. But like I said, it's just a it's a little bit more red toned than it is purple, but it's super pretty. Um, great formula on this. So definitely um, way better formula than Coronation. I, I kind of want to wear them side by side. I, I want to like this one just because the, the formula on Coronation is terrible, but I really love Coronation. I love that purple. I just think it just looks so, so pretty and I want to make it work. Um, but now that I have this, I am glad that I at least have something in my collection in case I do end up destashing Coronation, but I do want to kind of wear these side by side and see what I think. Um, I just, uh, maybe I can put thinner in Coronation. I don't know, but I, I have this now so that way I don't feel as bad if I do have to destash coronation, but I want to try and make that work because they are, to me, I think they're distinct enough to where you could have them in your collect. You could have them if you like these sort of colors. Um, I think you could get away with having both in your collection just because I think the color is just enough difference to, I think, to justify it in my opinion. So, um, but this is one that, that unfortunately I wore with that new base coat that I've been trying out. So this popped off my nail pretty quickly, unfortunately, which was 
a little disappointed because I really wanted to keep wearing this because it was a really pretty color. So again, that is Ava from ILMP. And then to finish out the uh, the week last week, I decided to um, try out one of my new tonic polishes. I picked up two in their most recent um, their most recent release, which I think was like a week. Uh, it was probably longer than that. It was like I think two or three weeks ago. Um, and so this one was the one I was most excited about from that release and this is called Ambrosia. And Ambrosia is, it does have that, um, so it's gonna be, it's kind of like a, it's like a denim blue I want to say, um, but it does have that kind of unicorn, unicorn pea kind of shimmer in it so it's really really pretty unfortunately this also I wore with that other base coat with that base coat so this popped off my nail really quickly but so I really want to try and wear this again um, but this is super super pretty tonic I have not been disappointed with tonic polishes yet I think I've only had worn two so far but I've got a couple other ones I, I have um, you know ready to go that I purchased recently so I'm really excited about the other two because these have been just great so far beautiful 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 shimmer in this and it definitely stood out on the nail oh it was so so pretty so Ambrosia by Tonic Polish and then for the following for this week um I also still wasn't my my shoulders feeling a little bit better but still not 100 percent so um I still am on, I still was on the same kind of like I just wanted quick and easy nails. I thought about doing some nail art this week, but I haven't, I just wasn't feeling very in, inspired with like, I just haven't really, I wasn't really like inspired by like wanting to do anything. So um, I thought about doing some like stamping and stuff, but I just, I couldn't, if I can't think of anything by the time I sit down to do my nails, I just, I, I only have, like I said, like 20, 30 minutes to, to paint my nails. So usually it's like, if I can't think of something I wanna do, before I sit down, I won't do anything. Um, so I definitely wanted to try some nail art this week, but I just, I I wasn't feeling it this week. So definitely nothing, no nail art. So maybe next week we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, I did try some new polishes as well as some older polishes in my collection. So first up is another A England that I picked up. Um, this one I saw a swatch on Instagram and just, I knew I had to have it. And I think I picked this up from Beautyometry. Um, because I hadn't seen it anywhere else. And this is A. England's Captive Goddess. And this is an interesting color. It's kind of like a silvery, um, it's like a silver, like a silver with like maybe a slight bit of purple to it, but it has this really pretty flash of um, this like, t like aqua kind of flash in it. Oh, it's so pretty. And it still has that kind of like, you know, shower of scattered holographic that A. England does. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. I just thought this was a really interesting combination of like because I usually don't go for like silvery um, Silvery colors like this, but I think that flash just really made it really very unique So I was very excited about that great formula as per usual on a England So definitely another great one to add to my collection. So that again is captive goddess and then I picked up Again, I picked up more polish. Um, I was recently introduced to a new kind of, I guess it's a subscription box, but um, I saw this featured on Instagram and it's called For the Love of Polish Box. And so it always has three different indie polishes in it. So the two main brands that you will always see in the box from what I have gathered so far is that there's always a polished for days and a polish polish in there. And so there's always those two and then there's usually a, um, what do they call it? Like a, not a substitute, but then there's always like a featured brand. Um, and so it's always three polishes, I think $30, and then there's always like a theme that goes along with the box. Um, this is the first I had heard about it in February. So um, I don't know how long they've been going on other than, you know, I just kind of found these on Instagram one day and I saw these two colors and I knew I had to pick up this box for the month. Um, and so the box for this month was again for the uh, polish for days, polish, and then the featured, the featured uh, indie maker for this month was blush lacquer, which I haven't tried any of them before. So that made me a little excited to try this box as well. So the theme for this month was, I believe 80s, was 80s themed. So 
the polish that I tried so far from that is this polish for days and this is probably like the main reason I bought the box the polish that was in there the polish polish that was in there is really pretty and I can't wait to try that and I haven't tried the blush lacquer yet and I'm excited to try that but this I think is what sold me on the box and this is another duochrome and this is polish for days called karma chameleon and I probably have something similar to this in my collection. My Coloristic Carol is probably popping up in my mind, but I don't care. I love these polishes so much. So this is uh, a like royal purple color, and it has this gorgeous. Um, this isn't as multi. Do this isn't as multi chromed as the Coloristic Carol. Oops, excuse me. Um, it just really has these two main. It just has this one shimmer in it. So it's got this really beautiful teal flash of shimmer that runs um, throughout it, and it also has. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit far away from the camera today. Um, and it also has small little um, pieces of holographic, eh, holographic micro glitter that's in there. So gorgeous on the nail. This was so, so, so pretty. Beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful polish. The transition on it was amazing. I got a really good swatch, so you got to see the teal as well as the... Uh, the purple color, I was super impressed with the formula. Love, love, love this polish, super pretty. It's Karma Chameleon. And then I also made another polish order. I think they restocked a bunch of stuff. Um, so I picked up quite a few polishes in the last month. Polish, I don't know how to distinctly say that. I picked up a couple polish polishes this month um, and they restocked a couple of their like Krelly type polishes. Um, and so I picked up two. And I don't know if I would necessarily call these Krellies, but they're Krelly-esque. So this one that I wore is called Munchkin Land. And to me, they're, this is more of a cream polish than a, than a Krelly. It's a little bit thicker, um, but it's, you know, kind of along the same line. So this is a, you know, white polish with these little tiny, I don't know how close I can get you here, but they've got these really tiny kind of orange uh, flakies in here catch those you can kind of see them there so yeah it's just it's just like um burnt like burnt orange kind of flakies in here so it was really really pretty very dainty on the nail it's kind of yeah they're they're like orange there might be a few like gold pieces in there but nah, i think it's mostly orange they're just a little they're definitely like metallic-y colored um or they're metallic -y in the sunlight but this was a beautiful polish great formula really enjoyed this one and like I said I picked up I think one other one so I'm excited to try that other one so that is Munchkin Land and then the last two for this week are kind of oldies that I kind of pulled out of my collection I've been trying to do a good since the last two weeks have been a bunch of new polishes I didn't want to like because I know I'm going to be doing a haul here coming up so I didn't want to do all new polishes and then you know in a week or two when I actually filmed the haul video. I didn't want you guys to be bored with like, oh yeah, she showed us all these polishes last week when she did her weekly mani. So I did wear a lot of new polish, but so I wanted to go in and try and pull some older polishes out of my collection that I hadn't worn. And so this one I picked up, I want to say like late summer and I was really excited to wear it because when I swatched it, it was, I, when I swatched it, I thought it was gorgeous. And this is a pixie dust from Zoya called Zoe. And this is so beautiful. I love, love, love this color. It's a beautiful salmon pink. It leans slightly more orange than it does pink. If you saw my video over the summertime when I did my like Zoya haul, whatever it was, um, I picked this up because I had first picked up Zoya's Harper. And they're <laughs> kind of along the same lines, but Harper was slightly more pink and so I didn't really care for it as much. This, oh, I just, it's the right amount of pink. Um, and then the holographic glitters that are in here just stand out so well on the nail, which is what I love about some of the, that's what I love about pixie dusts. Um, some of the pixie dusts from Zoya I don't really care for just because they look very flat and just flat on the nail. And so I really like the ones that have these like, not necessarily like the big pieces, like those extreme pixie dusts, but these where they just have just enough holographic in there to kind of, shine on your nail to kind of just you know your the for the finish is going to be matte but those little pieces you'll catch in the light every once in a while and so they it just brightens up the polish a little bit better um than just a totally flat matte nail so these um you know they have a couple in their collection that have these like you know holographic glitters in them and i just i loved the the color on this i loved the finish 
I just, oh, I really, really loved this polish. So that is Zoe from Zoya. And then the last one I wore this week is a femme fatale that I hadn't worn in a really long time. And this is another one of those kind of like flash colors similar to Shipdirect. It's one of the first kind of like flash type shimmer polishes that I picked up. And so this is called I've Lost The. I really hate how femme fatale, I don't like their labels. These fall off on me in like two seconds. So I really wish, for the amount of money that they charge for these. I really wish they would get better labels because these things just fall off in like two seconds. Um, so this is Femme Fatale's Poisoned Apple and this is a like turquoisey green that leans a little bit more green than it does blue and as you can see there it has this pink flash in it. It is apparent on the nail. Just to me, like I, again, like with Shipwrecked, I just, I have a whole bunch of these polishes in my collection now and I just this was very underwhelming. I wore this like probably like a year or so ago when I first got it and I just, uh, it's pretty. It's just nothing to write home about. I just wasn't super thrilled with it. It does have these small pieces of um, like very, very tiny, tiny um, like micro shimmer that's in there. And so I think it, they're so tiny. I don't even think you're going to be able to see them, but uh, there's very tiny pieces of micro shimmer in here, and so I think that's what made me not like it as much. I think it just messed with the finish on your nail because it just made it look kind of, so the, the shimmer in here made it look a little bit textured on the nail, and so I only wore one coat of top coat because I think I wanted to wear, I think I started putting this polish on, I started putting my base coat on, realized this had like, glitter or something in it so I wasn't sure if I was going to have trouble removing it so then I tried to put a peel off base coat on top that didn't work I had to take all of that off and I was already annoyed so I'm sure that probably didn't make me as excited about this polish um so there was that whole ordeal before I even put it on my nails and then I probably should have done two coats of top coat because this just looked the, the shimmer in this just makes it a little bit textured looking on your nail unless you I could have probably maybe smoothed it out with one extra coat but yeah something about the I think it's just the the shimmer in here it just kind of takes away from the the, sh the flash like the pink flash that's in here I don't know I just wasn't super thrilled with it um it is kind of like I guess the shimmer in here might be a little like duochrome because it looks kind of gold also like pinky gold so I see pink here in the viewfinder, but I also, when I'm looking at it in person, I do see some gold here. So this might be a little like of a duochrome shimmer, but it's pretty. I, uh, it's just, I have so many of these now that if it's not something extraordinary, I'm just kind of like, nah. So it's, eh, it is what it is. So that again is Poisoned Apple from Femme Fatale. And that is all of the polishes for this week. So thank you again for watching. Uh, I feel like I haven't filmed a video in a little while so I feel very like out of it so I'm not like my I feel like I'm not my normal bubbly self so I apologize for that um, thank you guys so much um, I'll detour or I'll sidebar this for a minute thank you guys so much for your response on my D stash video I was not anticipating everyone wanting all of my polishes so I apologize for those that didn't get a chance to um, get any of those. I'm sure I'll do another D stash in the future. So uh, thank you again for your response. I do have, I think I sent out a couple packages yesterday. I'm still wrapping some up. Um, so I will get those out in the mail as soon as possible, hopefully within the next week or so. So thank you guys so much. Again, that was really fun. I, I loved your guys' responses to the, uh, just, you guys are so great. I love, I love interacting with you guys and talking to you guys about polishes and the uh, the Zoya, what's on my Zoya wish list? Like you guys are so awesome. You've, you've given me, you're basically you're enabling me to go buy these polishes. But um, I really loved your responses about what you guys thought of the polishes. I just think that's super helpful, um, especially when you're on the fence with some of those polishes like that. So getting your guys' response, especially the ones that have them and um, that the one the polishes you guys have in your collection and being able to give me some idea of what you guys think about it was super helpful. So thank you so much for your interactions on my videos. I love talking to you guys so much about nail polish just because I have no one else in my life to talk about nail polish with. So I love hearing from you guys and letting me know what you're buying and what you think. So I apologize for being absent last week and filming this extra long Manny's video. I apologize, but like I said, next week is daylight savings. I'm hoping we can go back to a regular filming schedule so that way I don't feel so 
rushed on the weekends to get a bunch of videos filmed. Um, let's see here. I don't have too much planned. Um, I think there's a couple Topic Tuesdays that um, are coming up here in the next week or two. I do want to do a nail care video. I know somebody asked me about that, so we'll, I'll probably film a nail care video. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. I would love to get some ideas so that it doesn't... I would love to film videos that you guys want to see. So um, give me some ideas in the down bar or in the uh, comment section below, and I will stop rambling so this video is not 30 minutes long. Again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.